We're back at the 18th hole, and what a scene it is. Keep your eye on this player. They're going places. Gareth Bale is joining Real Madrid. There it is, confirmed. Deal done. Gareth Bale has joined Real Madrid. This is what every footballer dreams of. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 98 End of Era Gareth Frank Bale Episodia, an epi that we should have done Sunday, but we were out uh, celebrating 4th of July, uh, and we were not able to do it. You guys have been asking me for my thoughts on this card. I've seen a bunch of different thoughts on, on this card in the community. On the one hand, he's 750k, so he's super expensive. On the other hand, he's a 98 rated card. Looks absolutely ridiculous with the 97 dribbling. Everything on the left side of the card is pretty much jacked off, and you get the bonus of a 5-star skill move as well as 96 physical. Had a little bit of a tumultuous end there at Real Madrid. Now is at LAFC. I think something like, what is it, 81 goals in 176 matches for Madrid. Scored some of the most iconic uh, goals for Madrid over the course of the past uh, six or seven years that he's been there. 42 goals for Spurs in 146 matches and then banked 40 goals in 106 matches for Wales. So he is an absolute legend wherever he goes and he is now here in MLS and I'm definitely going to try and make my way to an M uh, Inter Miami home game in order to be able to see this guy play. Uh, still only 32 years old. A little bit of an interesting move. Thought maybe he could go back to the Premier League or something like that. Maybe, uh, um, Man, I, I, Serie A and Bundesliga don't really uh, doesn't seem like a really good fit. Bayern actually would have been an interesting little role, uh, you know, given that he's getting up there, uh, getting up there, you know, 32, 33 years old, maybe a little bit more centrally. But uh, I think Bayern are actually looking for Ronaldo right now, so that'll be cool. Wearing the Real Madrid kit right now, smash like on the Epi if you think that this 98 Gareth Bale end of era card is 100% deserved. Smash like on the Epi if you can't believe that an inform in July of 2022 goes for 75,000 coins on the PlayStation. EA, we need the repeatable. Team of the Week upgrade SBC, please. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Smash like on Epi if you think it's kind of cool that he loves golf and he actually has himself the chip shot trait. So let's take a look at the stats. Five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, high, medium, left-footed. Everything that we've seen so far looks really good. Pace is jacked off. 97 attack and positioning, 97 finishing, 99 shot power with 99 long shots, 99 volleys. Very, very accurate. Has scored some absolutely iconic volley goals for Real Madrid. Passing stats are pretty much jacked off all the way with the engine chem style. Dribbling gets the balance which one, uh, which uh, might be one of the reasons that you don't like it, but uh, with the balance goes up to 99, agility goes up to 99, dribbling goes up to 99, ball control and composure are already 99 with 95 reactions, 90 stamina, 99 strength, and 94 aggression. If you're going to spend 750,000 coins on a card, damn it, a 98 Gareth Bale is going to be it. And he's right mid, so you, might, you get him at a little bit of a discount. If he was central, this is probably a 1 million, 1 point, uh, maybe 1.2, 1.3 million coin SPC. Long throwing trait, that's just a boost. And he has the outside the foot shot trait, which blends well uh, with the four star weak foot. So a very, very nice set of upgrades. That goes without saying, he's ridiculous, but I have seen some people say that he feels a little bit clunky and that's what we're going to try to find out today. So uh, we're going to run him in a full Madrid squad. It was either that or a Welsh squad. We did an epi on the striker bail. We used a full Welsh squad. So I think an end of era card, we have to honor the mad lad by putting him in a team, uh, putting him in a full Madrid team. To start off with, Let's test out what uh, Gareth Bale's left foot has on him in terms of uh, being able to shoot crossbody because Vinny's going to want to shoot crossbody as well. Let's get in game. Uh, let's see what this card play le plays like. I haven't seen one bad. Uh, I haven't seen one bad review on this card. He's got himself a Lacazette, a Jackie Gralash. Uh, he's got himself a McGinn. He's got himself a Juan Mata. He's got himself a Decky Rice. Trent, Tierney, Kukurels, Van Dijk, and uh, and Allison. And again, we're running on previous gen because for the life of me. I can't, uh, whenever I try to go in a game on, uh, on next gen, it just bounces me out. So, uh, an emotional and emotional farewell to an emotional player. All the Welsh boys in the comments already know what it is. If you guys have unlocked this card, let me know how he's performed for you. Uh, but one thing we are going to keep an eye on is if he does feel clunky. Because some people say that, uh, yeah, some people say that he does have a little bit of clunk on him. But he's got the unique body type, which means... Oh! Guys, what are you talking about? Oh! Okay, well, um, we're gonna do the Gareth Bale custom celebration because he does have it. Okay, he's not gonna let me. He's not gonna let me execute it. Gareth Bale, heel flick, nutmegs, uh, a defender. What a 
we doing, guys? Lunky, huh? <laughs> yeah, dude, he's super, super slippery, slippery with the left analog. I feel like you got it. You have to listen. I think the engine is clear. I think some people are putting Guardian on him because I think he has some defensive stats. You could even probably run him as a three-five-two. To be fair, um, I think I saw Fuji says that he really likes him as a uh, he really likes him as a right mid. Um, yeah, but for my money, look at oh, look at Vinny. Come on, Vinny, let's go. Gonna chip that. I love it. There's nothing this card can't do. There's legitimately nothing this card can't do. Gareth Bale the Whale is going to do a little whale flop. Uh, and I think he's already... No, no. Is he already on a hat trick? I think Gareth Bale is already on a hat trick. EA, well, like... Come on, man. EA, what, what is that? What the actual hell was that, bro? We got to go with Vinny. We got to go with uh, Bale in the 15 and 30 second minute. It's just like, bro, sometimes stuff happens in this game that literally makes me want to reverse throw bro, up. Bro, sometimes stuff happens in this game that literally makes me want to reverse there's throw the, up. There's the left analog stick dribbling. I, okay. I, I don't, I think that confirms that. I think that confirms that that, that might be. And I, you guys know me, man. I don't like to overhype things for no apparent reason at all. That might be the best goal that I, that might be the best skill goal that I've scored in FIFA 22. Period. That legitimately might be the best skill goal that I've scored in FIFA 22. Look at the pass, and then look at the pace. Yeah, we've got him on drift wide. He loves himself a cheeky chip. He plays golf. He loves chipping. Oh my god, what a sa what a save from Allison. Nice card. Be uh, Benzo, my G. Do I dare try it? minute I think that's the only distance beggar that we scored with him Gareth Bale the whale goes ahead and I think he gets himself the hat trick you guys can tell from the right side he was less successful but from inside the box with that left foot uh he just bangs them in we had 11 passes nine completed even had two standing tackles uh and no standing tackles one he was beaten by opponent twice so you guys could see what he was able to put together in game uh a very very spicy uh very very spicy set of goals and I don't know which one it was it wasn't this goal right here was it the uh was it the one in the 48th? This was, this might be the best goal. This might be the best skill goal that I scored in FIFA 22. Legitimately, he's got that power to get it by the defender. Uh, the five-star skill moves, again, every one of those, uh, every one of those skills is a five-star skill move. Uh, and then he goes ahead and uses that beautiful, beautiful left, uh, left, uh, that Welsh left foot and pops it top right-hand corner of the net. Match number one, resounding success. Bro, sometimes stuff happens in this game that literally makes me want to reverse throw up. Is there anyone that thinks that this Gareth Bale card is not is not good? My favorite kind of SPC is one that's not more than like 350k max. I, I cringe at having to submit 400k worth of fodder uh, into an SPC. But uh, every now and again, you make an exception for an incredible player. And I think this 98 Gareth Bale is one that most everyone is going to try and want to do. We got the Summer Swap tokens coming out on Friday. Uh, we've got... Um, you know, it's, it's there for 30 days, so it's going to be a card that should be fairly accessible to everyone. Um, and I just, I, I mean, that's, that's Chucky. That's the power of Chucky Lozano, bro. How do you even, yo, are, are keepers, bro? It makes me want to cry. That literally makes me want to break down and cry. Are, have EA like made keepers transparent? Your opponent has forfeited due to an insufficient amount of players. Like, is my. Like, did he rage quit because he knew that I was gonna win? Did this guy legitimately rage quit because he knew that I was gonna win? How about the pace on Gareth Bale to get by all his defenders? Little bit of a, uh, little bit of a stop shot. 
And a uh, little bit of a fake shot. Gareth Bale's pace is just next level. Yeah, Gareth Bale's pace is just on another level. Look at this guy's legs move. Welsh legs move a little bit different in FIFA, man. Think of all the cracked Welsh players in the game. Dude, that's their ball Courtois. El equipo contrario lo va a tener muy difícil. I don't even know what that goal was. I, I don't even I don't even know how that ball goes in. Oh, oh he's done it again! This bro. He's caught. Good as be. And that's what that's what a top-level card looks like in FIFA. This Gareth Bale card, he might be the best attacking card that I've used all game. I'm talking maybe Rule Breakers Arnatovic within the first few months of the game as that card that really stood out to me, that kind of did things a little bit differently on the pitch. Um, I'm talking about, I'm, I'm trying to think of a couple players that uh, come to mind when I think of ridiculous, ridiculous attackers. I don't really use Mbappe in FIFA, it's just, it's just not really my jam. But this Gareth Bale card is, uh, yeah, he's a special card. That, that was just, that was left analog. Yeah, this guy's done, so. Poor guy. <laughs> Bro! I've never, I've never done skill moves. I don't know what they could release. I mean, I know we got the, uh, you know, we're almost an 85 plus by 10 season. But I don't know what EA could release. Um, in terms of player. Eh, look at him, he just, you know, he's got the pace. Gonna ball roll, nothing fancy, and he's just gonna he's just gonna bang goals. This guy's out of here. Good. There's not gonna be another card that comes out this year, at least attacking wise, uh, that's gonna have the stats that he has. But just a ridiculous, ridiculous card. And I give it the uh, I mean, there's really there's really there, there's really nothing else to say, man. I give it the uh, I give it this way, Infinity Gauntlet, uh, thumbs up, stamp of approval. So I think that's what is that? We we might even try. You know what? We might even try to take this through a game of weekend league. Nine goal contributions in three matches played. He's expensive. It's July. We're full sending. If you can spend 600k on an icon, PP, you can put 750k in a 98 Gareth Bale. I absolutely love the card. Not too easy. Uh, not too difficult to link if you've got a La Liga squad. Icons make it easy, and you could probably play them on seven or eight cam, and you probably won't notice uh, too much of a difference. So, really, really love the card in terms of value. It's very rare that I would give a card that goes for 750,000 coins a 4 out of 5, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Sure, he could be 600k, sure he could be 500k, but we, we don't want the entire community running this absolute crack card. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to say 4.5 out of 5 for a 750,000 coin card. You will never see me give this rating on another card uh, like this again. Uh, and then also on the pitch performance, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. There was no clunkiness. Engine chem style is it for me. Was able to finish most chances inside the box. Uh, attempt a few distance, uh, distance, uh, distance bangers, but with his speed and with his skill moves, you just kind of want to get spicy with it and get inside the box and kind of, you know, score pretty goals. So I'm going to say five out of five in terms of on the pitch performance. One of the rare exceptions for being worth over 500,000 coins. I think he's worth it at 750k. He's there for 30 days. I love that component of it. And like I said, summer swap token SBCs, uh, in terms of the fodder packs will be out on Friday. So I'm sure a lot of you guys might be looking to get this card done. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the epi. Smash like on the epi for Bill. Smash like on the epi for me. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.